let's get more traffic to your website. Sound good? All right, so what we are going to be doing in this video is using ChatGPT and tapping into pre-existing audiences that are already out there that are related to our website that we currently have. So in this example, I'm gonna say that I have a coffee website, okay? So how do we get in front of pre-existing audiences that are interested in the website that we have, that we run, all right? So this is where guest posting or guest blogging comes into play. And if you're not familiar with guest posting, it is simply writing articles for other websites, right? But with guest posting, we are allowed to, in most cases, add our own link. And this link allows the people that are reading, the existing audience that are reading on bigger blogs to click over and view our related website where we sell our products or our services or advertising, whatever it is that you are selling, okay? So what do I mean by this and how big of an opportunity really can this be, all right? So the, this is a couple different ways that we can actually search in Google to find guest post opportunities. So I'll just copy this and put keyword and I'll put coffee coffee, submit a guest post. So we are going to be using the main keyword in this search, all right? So as you can see right here, there are 709,000 results for coffee, submit a guest post, all right? And you can go on, you can go into, you know, espresso or coffee, uh, coffee makers or, you know, latte, different keywords that you could really play with and find more and more opportunities. But let's start with this because 709,000 results is a lot to start off with, all right? So all of these sites, right, that are listed, submit a guest post, write for us, uh, how to submit a guest post, uh, how to write a guest post for the well-caffeinated mom, right? All of these are opportunities for us to write an article, put it on another website where there is a pre-existing audience and, and put a link or multiple links in our article that we're submitting to them for that audience to go over to our website. We can collect a lead, we can collect an email address, we can sell products and services, all right? So this is the first one, coffee code, right? Now, this is a, uh, not a warning, but just to keep you informed that every different blog has different requirements for their own site, right? Some of them might say you can do this or you can't do that. You can have a link or you can't have a link, right? Most, I would say, let's say 80% do allow a link, which is what we want, all right? We want to add a link and look, here's the guidelines, right? So for this example, uh, we uh, any post must be related to coffee in one way or another. Content must be your, your own. We publish, do follow links, but don't go crazy. Perfect. We want those do follow links. We want just a link in general, but a do follow link will help in search engine optimization. No controversial, religious, political, or def uh, defamatory content. Perfect. Easy. There we go. All right. So there's our first opportunity to write a guest post, right? And you can go through any of these searches and use your main uh, keyword to find opportunities like this, okay? So now how do we make this easier? How do we really uh, uh, cut down the time that this will all take? That's where ChatGPT will come into play, all right? So here's the prompt for content ideas. Develop five content ideas around the keyword, insert your content. So obviously we are writing about coffee. So I'm going to write in my example, develop five content ideas around the keyword espresso coffee, okay? So again, this needs to be relevant to your website and to the uh, post that you're, the guest post that you're going to be submitting, okay? So here we go. Here are different ideas that are of espresso making, espresso coffee around the world, health benefits and myths of espresso, uh, espresso coffee pairings, DIY espresso coffee crafts, Perfect. Now we're going to take some of those and turn that into a blog outline. So this is a prompt. Create a detailed outline for a blog post on, and then you can grab any of these espresso coffee pairings that covers key points and subtopics. Okay, so in this example, I'm going to say create a detailed, a detailed outline for a blog post on the health benefits of drinking espresso that covers key points and subtopics. All right, so this is, again, just the outline. This is not going to be just 
uh, the entire blog post itself. However, once it fills this out, you can go, you know, step by step and write it out yourself, let's say, or you can just tell ChatGPT right after this, hey, write this article, okay, after it finishes that. And then we're gonna go over and once it's done, we're going to email them, submit it, and sit and wait for their response. Now, nine times out of 10, you need to be completely original. Like you can't grab this exact article and submit it to, uh, you know, 10 different blogs. And um, it, it just has to be original. These uh, blogs will not work with you again if you don't submit anything original. It's just not gonna come off good, okay? All right, so after it is, the blog outline is written, we're just gonna say, write this article and have it spit out the article. So you can either adjust this. I would definitely recommend proofreading it because you never know what could be right or wrong. If you're an expert in the coffee field or espresso field, you're gonna know what to look for and how to communicate this and articulate it a little bit better than maybe um, a blank you know, AI, hey, write this kind of article. But that is it. That's how you go through and uh, grab this and then submit the guest post along with your uh, your link. Now you can link in anywhere, right? You can link in the bottom, you can link, let's say uh, at the top, you can link, hey, this is written by Mike Costanzo by this blog and put your link right at the top or throughout the article or at the bottom, right? And then you have that one, let's go to the next one, right? And you just go on and on and on through all of these blogs and tap into their pre-existing audience to start generating traffic. Literally, that took me like, you know, mine's explanation, it took a couple minutes to actually do. And you can see within maybe an hour a day, you can really crank through a ton of articles and get massive traffic by doing this, okay? And also start working on, you can start working on different subtopics or related topics to coffee uh, to search, right? You could just search espresso for example, and then that's definitely less results, but you get the idea, all right? So I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you got a lot out of it. I will leave all of the prompts and all of uh, these searches in the description below for you to check out, for you to start using and start getting traffic to your site. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you're gonna like the videos at the top. Make sure to check them out. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.